Let's take a look at the top 10 benefits of Scrum from the perspective of a project sponsor and the project team. When you're using the Scrum framework, your development team and your users are frequently inspecting and adapting your software. Every couple of weeks, you get to review what's been built, provide feedback, and make micro adjustments based on your highest priority requirements. Using Scrum, we elaborate requirements just in time to start development. As your users become more familiar with your Microsoft business application software, they can better express their requirements based on the software that's already been developed. This contrasts with a traditional project where users must express all of their requirements during the analysis phase before they've acquired any experience with Dynamics 365, Power Apps, Power BI, or Flow. Taken in combination, these two powerful factors, frequent inspection and just-in-time requirements elaboration, lead to a business application that's a closer fit for your needs and creates the outcomes you need to realize your business case. Number two, a faster release cadence. With a traditional approach, like Dynamics SureStep, none of your software is released until it's all ready for release. The first few months of the project are spent in analysis and design. Instead of any working software, all you've got to show for your investment is a lot of documentation, none of which is based on experience of building software together. With Scrum, your team is analyzing, designing, developing, testing, and if you want, releasing software into production every couple of weeks. You can be in production in months, either with an early prototype or with a small set of finished features. In every iteration, you're developing an increment of working software that could be released into production as soon as you're ready for it. Number three, a higher return on investment. Taking those two benefits together, the better software that supports your business case outcomes and a faster release cadence lights a rocket under your return on investment. Scrum projects are usually completed with 30 to 40% less budget than sequential projects because you won't spend any time analyzing and designing features that never make it into the final version. That means the total investment is much lower. The software is a better fit for your business case outcomes, which means that the returns are higher too. And releasing it into production within a few months results in real benefits being realized before you would have even completed the design phase of a traditional project. Number four, greater user satisfaction. Scrum teams have far more interaction with end users than traditional project teams. Often, Scrum development teams are co-located at the same site, but at the very least, we're demonstrating our progress and receiving feedback every couple of weeks. The Scrum team's priorities are managed by the customer's product owner. The product owner represents the users and arranges the requirements according to business value. This is a transparent product backlog that any stakeholder can review. Everyone knows what's coming next and where their requests are in that backlog. Scrum teams build better software, have more interactions with users, and are more open and transparent during the development process. This generates higher user satisfaction with their Microsoft business application and with the team who's building it. Number five, more visibility and confidence. Scrum teams value open and honest stakeholder communication. The product backlog is available for anyone to review at any time. Stakeholders can review progress frequently at sprint reviews to check in on what's been completed recently and to suggest what to work on next. If there are any risks, issues or defects, they're called out early, much earlier than in a traditional project where all the problems usually pile up towards the end of the project. This is when budget's normally under pressure and everyone's scrambling to try and get the application into production. Scrum gives your project sponsor and your governance teams more visibility into the project's progress, which gives them greater confidence in the project team. Number six is efficient allocation of capital. In a traditional project, a team estimates the necessary funds required to complete the project and requests a capital allocation in the business case. Unless and until the project is completed, the entire allocation 
normally remains committed to the project and there's no benefits realised, often for a year or two on a large project. In a Scrum project, the team requests the necessary funds to complete a few iterations of work. This could be on a quarterly basis. The Microsoft Business Application software can be released into production several times during this period so that the capital investment sees a fast return. If the value derived from the planned enhancements is greater than the project's running costs, the team can request additional rounds of funding. Allocating small parcels of capital to the project as it demonstrates a positive return is much more efficient than putting at risk a large allocation for a big bang project. Number seven is less risk. Scrum projects offer frequent opportunities to inspect progress and check the functionality that's being developed. Testing is continuous throughout the project rather than being deferred until after the end of the development phase. Any defects can be detected and remediated much earlier when it's much less expensive. To mitigate technical risks, many scrum teams perform work called spikes. Like a rock climber's python, a spike allows us to safely explore an uncharted topic and limit our risk. Spikes allow the team to research technical design options, evaluate third-party apps, or, for example, prototype the use of a Canvas app. At the end of the spike, we've got a recommendation and a transparent record of our work and decisions. Earlier identification of project risks gives Scrum teams more time to find acceptable resolutions before risk complexity and remediation costs escalate out of control. Speaking of control, number eight is more control. Change is inevitable when implementing any business software. Customer requirements, government regulations, competitive threats, organizational priorities can all change during a typical enterprise project that might run for a year or two. In a traditional project, when the only time available for raising requirements is at the start of the project, variations are governed through a change request process. Requests are evaluated, costed, and approved. And if the request involves abandoning features that have already been analyzed, designed, or developed, then all that work was wasted. If the change involves new work, then new analysis and design work must be conducted after those phases of the project were considered complete. Late breaking requests become very expensive ideas. Contrast that with a Microsoft Business Applications project being delivered using the Scrum framework. The Scrum team is regularly analyzing the next set of requirements just before designing and developing the next set of features. The product owner can change the order of product backlog items at any time in response to changing conditions. There is no protracted change request process or contractual renegotiation required. Of course, there are still potential impacts on scope, timeline or costs that need to be managed, but the product owner is in control and can make informed decisions before making changes to the backlog. Number nine, empowered collaboration. Like all frameworks that follow the principles of agile software development, the Scrum framework values customer collaboration over contract negotiation. In practice, this means that the services agreement between a Microsoft customer and partner to implement Microsoft Business Applications software doesn't rigidly define the requirements in a contractually binding specification. Instead, the agreement focuses on how the two parties will work together to create and release valuable, high-quality software. It's vital that the customer and the partner are each playing their part, working together every day with a focus and a commitment. When that happens, valuable features will be deployed frequently. Number 10. More rewarding. There are several reasons why Microsoft customers and partners report that implementing business apps using Scrum is more rewarding than a traditional approach. Users and developers work side by side towards the same goals. They forge close working relationships that foster mutual respect and understanding. Users learn about the application as it's being built. This helps them express better requirements. Developers learn about the user's environment, business processes and needs, which leads to better designs and features. 
Scrum encourages a sustainable pace. This means consistently delivering high-quality, production-ready features every few weeks. Scrum teams can often sustain their pace for several years without burnout. Burnout is much more common on traditional projects where there is intense pressure on budgets, timelines, and therefore on team members, especially during the testing and deployment phases. 